Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for the card of Wednesday, November 23rd. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time Durant run. Three football games yesterday. They all should have been on television. I think that was a bad job by ESPN. Three MAC games. Ohio wins 9 to 3. First game in the FBS is here without a touchdown. And they go to the MAC title game next Friday. They will meet Western Michigan if they can get by Toledo the day after Thanksgiving. Big win there. And just because you have to win doesn't mean you're going to win. But what a job by Chuck Martin. Bruce Marshall pointed this out on the radio show Tuesday. The first team in FBS to go start 0-6 and, and finish the season 6-6. Six and six. They were laying a lot of points. They get the win to go to 6-6. Six and six, But it was a struggle to become bowl eligible uh, in that one. And Eastern Michigan got a big win. Seven win season for Eastern Michigan. Remember, they had stunk for a long time as well. So the three MAC games, the results there. How about what happened last night to the Hawks? They're taking on the Pelicans, who got Holiday back. And this was, uh, they were bet up to eight and a half. Pelicans were up 48 to 18 by the nine minute mark of the second quarter. You got to be kidding me. How about that? A couple news and notes with the committee. I think it was good news uh, last night for Washington because we know USC's ranked. Washington State, Stanford, Utah all ranked. And the team behind them, Wisconsin, their signature win, LSU, well, they dropped out of the top 25. So good news for Washington if they can beat. Washington State, and then probably Colorado in the Pac-12 title game. That's going to be a pretty good resume, 12-1. and one. I think they get in over the Big Ten champ. Because remember, they're ahead of Wisconsin, who has two losses. And now, you know, that's big with what happened to LSU. Uh, how about CG Technology put the line out early? Pittsburgh was laying six. That's up to nine now. Roethlisberger on the road against Tolzien. How about the move there with the Steelers? And this was a good – Malinsky dug this up. This is great. Here's a quote from Tom Silverstein in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. During parts of their demoralizing 42-24 loss to the Redskins on Sunday night at FedEx Field, the Packers were playing with third, fourth, and fifth string quarterbacks, a fourth string inside linebacker, second and third string guards, a second string running back, and a fourth string receiver. So most points they allowed in a four-game span since 1958, the year before Lombardi took over. Oh, it's awful. Then they go on the road Monday night against the Eagles, and they haven't lost a home game. Eagle money coming in. You bet. Great stuff there from Malinsky, as always. The radio show Wednesday. KT and Isco and Jimmy Vaccaro, and then it's have a good one. Eat. Best part of Thanksgiving, football and leftovers. All right, time to tell you what I'm betting. A couple big feature pro picks up at pregame. Spartans got a big Thanksgiving Day game, 20-6 and six run with the premium plays. Get on board with uh, Spartans play there, and Fezzik's college football game of the year goes Saturday as well. You want to get on board, jump on that. Ben Burns also has a game of the year as well. Thanksgiving, NFL total, 5-1-1 one, and one NFL run. Let's keep it going. we got an early total that goes up there, handicapping the Capers Paulies pick from the pros. Grab that. As always, betting half a unit on the free play. I like this. Makes a lot of sense. And the line's moved already. They're going to play hard for Charlie Strong. They know he's done. Plus, they got humiliated against Kansas. They got beat for the first time since 1938 by Kansas. Texas laying points at home against TCU on Friday, 12:30 Pacific. Read Koken's full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. I've ranked it. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We will talk to you on Thanksgiving on pregame.com.